I'm speaking with uh, Liz Hobart, who is a government relations manager for Growmark, and uh, we've been doing a series on nutrient management. And, uh, of course, there's a lot of great reasons for growers to be um, to take part in nutrient management on their farms, especially from an economic standpoint. But, uh, Liz, why is nutrient management something that growers should be concerned about from a regulatory standpoint? Well, I think from a regulatory standpoint, when you look at the environment that we're in today, um, agriculture does a very good job with their production practices. And I think we need to take ownership of the issue and we need to help shape that outcome. And from a regulatory perspective, if if we aren't taking that ownership, if we aren't telling our story, uh, the regulation, the legislation, and even possibly civil litigation is is what is going to be driving the regulatory front. Uh, The public as a whole, I think, and in the communities, their demand and safety, control, science-based decisions from agricultural producers. And I think the regulations continue to advance with our ability to learn about the soils and the climate and water management and production techniques. So I think it's very important that as we look at nutrient management uh, from a grower's perspective, and particularly with the regulatory front, it's very important that we are part of the solution and that we are telling our story. Well, what are some cases that we've seen that are either ongoing or have been uh, involved recently, especially on a federal level, that indicate what could happen if growers are not proactive with nutrient management? Well, if if you start about it, let's start on on the East Coast, and, and you look at it from the Chesapeake Bay watershed area. And this is basically an area that in May of 2009, um, it was declared a national treasure. And uh, with that designation, uh, the federal government assumed a strong leadership role in restoring the water quality within that bay uh, to a point of where the regulatory front um, was approaching the solution, placing agriculture at the forefront of the blame um, as the cause of the problem of the water quality, and to a point of where they were going to regulate um, and try to quantify with numeric nutrient criteria uh, the nutrients that can go into that watershed. Uh, the Chesapeake Bay, that has definitely been an issue since 2009 that has been in the court system, uh, and it is something that is definitely going to be setting a precedent as you look at uh, the nation as a whole. And you get maybe here in the Midwest, and you, you look maybe a little bit um, farther there to the Mississippi River, and of course you have the Mississippi River Basin, which is the largest uh, river basin um, in the U.S., basically with 7,000 streams covering approximately 1.15 million square miles. And it is uh, this watershed uh, that is concerned because of all the drainage that goes down to the Gulf of Mexico with the hypoxic zone. And so as uh, the public and as regulators look at the water quality, uh, what happens downstream in the Gulf of Mexico um, is definitely they are looking to how they can address that hypoxic zone, reduce that hypoxic zone uh, to a point uh, where it is impacting and potentially regulating the agriculture industry here within the Midwest. So what is uh, Growmark doing on a state and federal level to help growers be part of the solution? Well, from from Growmark's perspective, uh, we are definitely working on the federal level, on the state level, and and also at the local level to help growers be a part of the solution. Um, I think it's very important that growers are proactive with nutrient management. Um, And and as you alluded to earlier, it's it's the economic perspective of the farmer, but it is also the regulation, the legislation, the civil litigation that that we need to minimize. Uh, What we are doing as the Growmark FS system on the federal level, for example, um, Growmark encourages uh, the use of best management practices in all phases of farming. And so we are very much engaged in the public policy discussion at the federal level. Uh, Some of the proposed rulemakings, for example, the waters of the U.S., we are very concerned uh, with the proposed ruling by the U.S. EPA and the Army Corps of Engineers on the proposed uh, ruling that defines what's water of the U.S. Um, We are engaged with our national associations and even some regional coalitions. Um, On the state level, uh, we kind of take that on a state-by-state basis um, as a result of the hypoxic zone, 
uh, states within the Midwest are uh, now required to uh, develop a strategy to reduce uh, the phosphorus and nitrogen that is going into the Gulf of Mexico. So each of the states um, are developing strategies on how they can uh, reduce that hypoxic zone. And so within each of the states, the Gromark FS system is uh, working with the state agencies and uh, the decision makers, the policy makers, in addition to others within the industry as part of a coalition in trying to ensure that those strategies, that they're based on science, that they are based on common sense, and that agriculture is, is part of the solution to where we are not being told what to do, but we can help shape that outcome and be a part of the solution. Uh, we also look um, on the local level, I think, in particular, from the Growmark FS system. Um, we have an awesome opportunity, and we play, I think, a very vital role in the educational opportunities um, within the industry. Our conversation uh, with our crop specialists and those that are um, at the farm gate, our conversations with the farmers have changed, and I think our role is to help the farmer understand how they can be a part of the solution in keeping in mind from the aspect of how we can minimize that environmental impact while optimizing that harvest yield and maximizing the plant's uptake of the nutrients. Um, I think it's very important that we be as proactive as we can, and, and profitability and sustainability and accountability have all got to be a part of that solution.